Okay, so we have Sister Tayan. She's going to be doing our second demonstration. What are we going to be making today? Vegan cheese. Okay, we're making vegan cheese. She already has something in the bowl. What do you have in the bowl? Okay, so since we didn't have many bowls, I just added the mixture to one bowl, but we have powdered coconut milk, Himalayan salt, chickpea flour, nutritional yeast, oil. Well, preferably olive oil or coconut oil. Seasonings and cayenne pepper. Okay, so already in the bowl, we have the nutritional yeast, chickpea flour, pink Himalayan salt. You can use any salt? Yes, you can. So any salt, you have the coconut milk, oil, fresh seasonings, and cayenne pepper. Um, so how much of each did you use? Okay, so added to the bowl is two cups of chickpea flour. Of chickpea flour. Cabanzo beans or chana, right. A cup of nutritional yeast. About a cup of coconut milk or half a cup, depending on how much cheese you are making. So um, half a cup of oil, your natural, sorry, your local seasonings and cayenne pepper. So, um, right, you season to taste. So the cheese that we made had our own local seasoning. It was already, it was powdered. But you could, let's say, for example, you want garlic cheese, or we also made cayenne, well, cheese with cayenne pepper. You season it to your taste. All right. So after I added two cups of chickpea flour, a cup of nutritional yeast, a teaspoon of salt, a cup of coconut milk, half a cup of oil, seasoning, and a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, I mixed the mixture. Oh, I also added two cups of water. Okay. So she's saying that you can season it. If you want garlic cheese, you can add garlic. If you want a local herb cheese, you can add your local herbs. She already had um, herbs from St. Lucia that was dried and packaged, so she's using that in this cheese, but you can flavor it how you want to. So how much water did you add to the dry mix? Two cups of water. So she's saying normally you can use a whisk. The whisk will make the job a lot easier and it will make it smoother. So you can use a whisk to just whisk the mixture together to get a smooth consistency. So as she's mixing, the lumpy texture is diminishing, it's becoming smoother. So you can see that the cheese is coming together the way you want it to. Semantics. Okay. All right, so we won't go through the entire process, but after she's done mixing, what happens next? What do you add next to this mixture? Okay, so you take a pan, put it on the stove, add some, well, add the mixture to the pan. After you put all the mixture into the pan, you take your half cup oil, add it to the mixture when it's boiling, and then you stir until the mixture thickens. After it has thickened, you turn off the stove, then place it to cool down. When it has cooled down, you pour it into, well, you could grease a pan, and pour it into that pan and then place it into a refrigerator so that it could get hard. About how much oil are we adding after we add it to the saucepan? The half cup. Okay, so you add this to a pot. Tell me if I'm going right. You add this to a pot on the stove and then you're gonna add half a cup of oil. When the mixture is boiling. After the mixture is boiling. Mm -hmm. Right, when it begins to boil. When it begins to boil, you would add the half cup oil, right. 
Another fact that it has to be a non-stick pan for better results. A non-stick frying pan. Okay, so if you... We don't really use non-stick pans because we want to be healthy. Can we use stainless steel as another option? Sure. Yes, you can. Okay, so the, the chefs are saying ceramic non-stick pans. So, um, and then when this is done, after it's done boiling, you add your oil, what do we do next? You stir until it thickens so that you, you're not able to stir anymore. Then you will remove it from the pan, grease a pan or a tray, place the mixture in there to cool down. When it has cooled down, you place it into the fridge, not the freezer, the fridge, so that it gets hard. Okay, so now she's going to show us what it looks like finished. So you can have an idea of what your cheese should come out looking like. Maybe the second or third time? First time. <laughs> okay, so this is the cheese. So this one does not have any cayenne pepper, and this one has cayenne pepper, and it's stopped with flaxseed. This one does not have any cayenne pepper. This one has cayenne pepper, and it's stopped with flaxseed. So this one does not have cayenne pepper. This one does have cayenne pepper, and it's topped with flaxseed. And you'll be able to sample a little later, closer to. Oh, well, you can't have this today. You have to wait until tomorrow. Sorry. <laughs> Incentive to come to camp. Okay. okay. So Sister Phillips is asking, how long does it last? About a week, if it's refrigerated. Okay, so this is your plain cheese, your flaxseed and cayenne cheese. We want to thank Sister Tayan. Does anybody have any questions for Sister Tayan before she goes? Okay. Okay, so we store it in the fridge and we just use it, slice it and use it. And it lasts for a week. Thank you so very much. We appreciate our St. Lucian sisters for sharing their awesome culinary skills with us. We have another demonstration. We have another demonstration which will be starting soon. So sit tight, we'll be right back.